In the foothills of the Northern Range, overlooking the Diego Martin Valley, is the community of Coveen. Arriving from the Diego Martin Main Road, the access through Coveen Road branches to other areas, including Spaniel Road, St. Francis Circular, and Upper Coveen Road. Many of the 1,100 plus households and almost 4,000 residents are perched on the slopes with fantastic views of the lush mountainside or of the valley. This is where we used to come to get water before we had a, a wasser supply of water. We used to come here, carry our water and our hairs to our homes to do our household chores such as washing, cooking. After we wash at home, we used to bring our clothes here to rinse our clothes and so forth. Coveen Road was first occupied between 80 and 90 years ago. Since that time, many residents relied on the river for water. Until now. There is a Wasa booster station near the start of Coveen Road, but its power was insufficient to supply the hillsides. The first one used to give a little trouble because it said um, it didn't used to build up enough pressure. So the people on the hills were having a problem getting water. Or like myself up here, because I'm on the last line. Going up. You know, it may seem primitive, but this water here is very clean for drinking purposes because as the water runs through the spring, it purifies itself. So it is very clean for drinking purposes, household purposes. So one day my son, I need to tell a story, one day my son came from Florida and he saw me bringing water, right? And he said, Mommy, oh gosh, let me help you. And he came and he brought a pigtail bucket. When he reached me, he said, oh God, how all you can live like this? How well it can live like this, this water so hard to carry. In May 2011, residents petitioned for Wasa to find a way to bring water into their homes. Each community receives between 700,000 and 1 million gallons of water. Then the booster switches to a different area so other residents may receive water. Bringing the station online took about six months of work. The work entailed laying new mains because there was no mains in, in this area. So we had to lay new mains to the upper side of Coveen. We, we had to run a transmission main to the lower side of Coveen to tie into St. Francois Circular. We had to run main to Espanol Road and as well to um, run some mains to Roxborough Street and Salandi Street and also to parts of Cemetery Street. We laid almost um, 3,000 meters of pipeline in order to ensure that this project be, became a reality. And also we installed this new booster here. It's a state-of-the-art booster, um, which is, is sourced, the water is sourced from the Coveen 1 booster, which is located at the bottom of the hill. And the, so, the, the, the main source of water is the four roads pumping station. So basically Coveen is at the end of the system. The physical transformation of Wasser's Coveen Road Booster Station 2 mirrors the transformation in the community. It's a lot more easier now. We don't have to get up late hours in the night to make sure the water is coming. You know, so and we get it three days a week, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. And we go out for 24 hours at the period, so everyone gets to fill up properly. And I end up adding on more tanks and more reserves, so I will be running out of water. Master came and all of us apply for connection in our homes. Whereby we have a perfect and proper supply of water. We have our water upstairs running water for my indoor plumbing and everything to cook and everything. With our tanks every Saturday morning I get up to my tanks running over with water. So I must be thankful and grateful for God for that water is life and be thankful for this.